Hello everyone, welcome to another bullet journal set of video and I'm so excited because it is out with the old and migrating into a new bullet journal. But first of all, let's go through June. This is how it looked like my monthly, my habit tracker, all colorful. I'm so happy about how it turned out and it's exciting. My gratitude log as well, always full and my brain dump. I always have something new there. My meal plan, I did not have meal set up for the last week. And then my first week of the month, that's how it looks. I finally got to 30 subscribers. It was so such an exciting time for me and I had to draw that in. This is my second week. I changed it up a little bit. Uh, some quote there and it was my brother's birthday so I had to place it there. Another week and another week and another page where it was plain and then my son just turned one and I had to place it there. My final week was not complete because as I was filming this I had not put in or set up all my entries and at this point I realized that the first half of my future log it was done and the other part was not enough for me to start a new bullet journal so uh, or another month so I decided that was the end of that book and in with the new yeah so here I'm just writing my name and a place for my email and number and as you know bullet journals always have to have an index where you have your page and your topic that way you can find your items where you've placed them and finally a key to indicate the symbols that are going to show you what uh, symbols that tell you what items or tasks you've done and the things that you need to accomplish. On the other hand, I decided to write myself a kind of encouraging quote telling me that I should love my bullet journal journey and yes, I have come from far. I had I did not know I would be at this point when I started, but I'm glad I did and I'm enjoying every single bit of it. So lots of love to myself. <laughs> Then here I'm going ahead and writing down my future log that is from July all the way to December. Of course, I did not have this look uh, with my first journal, but I decided to have a mini calendar and spread out my months such that it, there was plenty of space to write down things. And yeah, I'm, I'm liking how it looks. Then the only collection that I migrated to this side was my fitness and uh, since the page was done and I had to continue with tracking that and I put it there. Then finally I remembered you have to number your pages so this, that's what I'm doing here and I going on to July and take a break and smell the flowers you can tell my theme this month is all about florals and I love sunflowers so that's the theme for this month yellow and black will be my colors and hello July I'm so excited I'm loving how it looks then going ahead to my monthly I tried drawing the lines with a bookmark it didn't work so I decided to freehand it and I kind of like how it looks. It was much easier to do this. Then finally, I decided to have a header. I did not have a header in the other setups, so that was something I had to put back there. And of course, I put in my days and my dates and a little bit of sunflower there and put in my page numbers and I'm done. Then I'm tracking my habits. Uh, I did not have days. Uh, at the same time with the uh, days of the week or dates so I had went ahead and did that over there and I love this look from last month and therefore I had to have it again I, I incorporated my social and my habits and shading it a little bit with yellow yellow and black this month I was excited to try the mood tracker and my sunflower has 31 days each flower petal uh, denotes a day and this was the only pen that was small enough that could fit so those are my moods then my 
meal plan if you followed me at all you know that i love my meal planning and setting all these things ahead of time so that i'm not stressed that's what i'm doing right over there then i put in my day and my pages excuse me and i'm done Gratitude Log and Brain Dump are also my favorite collections. I have to have them in every uh, month setup that I do. And I tried out something different, having a vase of sunflowers. And then I'm going to write all around it my gratitude logs. And my Brain Dump never disappoints. Whenever I have ideas, that's where I put them. Dump them there. Finally, for my weekly, as you can tell, I'm going all in with the sunflower theme and I'm just putting in the petals and then I'm going to go ahead and write in black the days of the, of the week and that's what I'm doing right over there. Add my page numbers and it did not fit in one page so I went in ahead to the other one and I'm done. Look at that. Finally, if you follow bullet journaling, you know that every page needs to be put in the index. Remember the index that you did in the first place? We have to write everything down so that it is easier for you to come across the pages. Something like a table of contents so that you can find your pages easily whenever you want to go to a specific page instead of flipping through hundreds of pages in order to find the thing that you want so here i'm going ahead and writing down all the day the pages yes the pages and the topics they represent yeah when you do it like this i like doing it when i'm i finished a setup and i just write everything down and as i go on through the other weeks i'm just going to be updating my table of contents of e or index as I go. I'm loving the way it looks. I'm loving the, the flower and yeah, it's one of my favorites for a reason. Oh, they have to put in my first week header. <laughs> Almost forgot. And finally, I put that in and I'm done. Wash your hands so clean tonight. You can meet me on the other side We're impatient like young gods Feel the shift in the air with me And the light is what you can't see Keep on dreaming against all No